Find the area of the trapezoid. When we find the area of a trapezoid, we can remember that two trapezoids put together, if I draw them, I would get a parallelogram. So if I draw two trapezoids together, I would get a parallelogram. We know that the area for a parallelogram is the base times the height. Well, I noticed that there are two bases in a trapezoid. So I have to add the bases and multiply them by the height. Then, of course, because two of them put together make a parallelogram, half of that would be my area for just the one trapezoid. So there is a formula. It's similar to triangles, only instead of having one base, there's two. So area for a trapezoid is one half the base one plus the base two times the height. And it is important that you do that first, the bases, and it's in parentheses for that reason. It means we're going to do it first. So when we have numbers, we can find the area. So in this case, I have Area equals half of, now I'm going to look at the bases, bottom base. Base 1 is 12. Base 2 is 8. And then we have a height, which is the perpendicular distance between the base and the top of 4. So now we have to use our order of operations, parentheses come first. So I have area equals half of 12 plus 8. Well, 12 plus 8 is 20, and then we still have a height of 4, so multiplied by 4. I can now solve the problem by using multiplication, and I can now go in any order because I have um, multiplication, and when you have all multiplication, you can go pretty much in any order. So if I wanted to multiply 20 times 4 and divide that by 2, I could, or I can just go from left to right, which I'll do in this case. Half of 20 is 10, half of 4, or half of 20 is 10, and then I multiply 10 times 4 and get an area of 40 feet squared. So my area is 40 square feet. When we have a problem like this, it's a little less challenging than when we have to find a missing base. That's our hardest. So the first step, we always want to rewrite the formula. Area equals half of the base 1 plus the base 2 times the height. Then we plug in what we know. Well, in this problem, we know that the area is 22. We know that we have a base 1 of 7. We have a height of 4, and we need to find the x. So I'm going to plug in 22 for the area equals half stays the same. Base 1 is 7 plus base 2, which I don't know, so I'm just going to use x, times the height, which is 4. In these problems, we have to, because we can't add 7 plus x, we have to use the distributive property. So we have 22 equals half of 7 is three and a half. Half of x is x over two, or one half x. Times four. Now I still have an addition problem that I can't simplify, and 
I have to use the distributive property again. So some of these problems can be very challenging. So we have 4 times 3 and a half, which when we multiply would give us 14, 3 and a half times 4. Move the decimal once. Plus half of 4x, or 4 times 1 half x, which is 4 over 2x, which 4 divided by 2 is 2x. Now we have a little bit more simplistic algebra problem. Subtract 14 from both sides first. We have 8 equals 2x. You might already know 2 times what is 8, but using algebra we can divide both sides by 2 and we get x equals 4 meters. So in these problems you have to use the distributive property. It's easier to have to find the height than it is to have to find one of the bases because a lot of students forget the distributive property. But it is important that you know.